Hello dear students, I am your teacher Dattu sir and first of all I would like to congratulate you to being a student of 6th standard. Right? So in 6th standard we are attempting various competitive exams among them Hobi Baba exam, junior scientist is one of the important and very essential examination those who want to become success in their life. So first of all we will start the lesson number one. Right? Are you ready? I am ready. So name of the lesson is the name of the lesson is food where does it come from? Food where does it come from? Dear student, do you know that? What is the meaning of food? The food means substances that we eat. Substances that we eat for what? To nourish our body is called food. We eat various kinds of food materials. For example, right from breakfast to dinner, we eat different things. In the morning, after brushing, we drink milk, tea, coffee, with that we are taking bread, biscuit or any other snacks. Then again, at lunch, we take our proper meal. We should take proper meal during lunch. That is chapati, rice, curries, vegetables, pickles, salads. Salads is one of the important part of our diet. So these all things together we call as our food. So what is the necessity of food in our life? Food is very essential. Why? Well, the reason is that the need of food for proper growth of our body. If you do not take the food, you will not grow up. Right? For the proper growth and development of our body, food is essential. What is the second reason for generating energy to do what? Without food, we cannot do anything. Right? Even though if we are sitting at home, at regular intervals, our body demands food. Right? So, food is important to generate energy for doing the work. The next one is that to repair damages of our body. Dear student, as you know that we are very habituated to play outdoor games. You might have listed that whenever you are playing and by mistake if you fall down, your hands, that is especially elbows, grits, scratches on. But after 2-3 months, these elbows, scratches of the elbows and knees, they disappear. So why does this happen? This happens because the repair and damage of our body is done by the food that what we eat. And last one is that food increases our resistance power. A resistance power to fight against diseases. Right? So everybody is having its own resistance power. If you have strong resistance power, you will not fall asleep. Right? So what is the importance of food in our life? There are four reasons. Number one, for proper growth of our body, for generating energy to do work, to repair damages of our body, food increases our resistance power to fight against diseases. Now, do you know that we are eating different kinds of food, for example, chapati rice. But tell me that, are we eating raw rice or chapati or pulses or grains? Is it possible? No, not at all. Don't try it. Because some food items we have to cook. After cooking only, it can be digestible by our body. Right? Cooking makes food soft and tasty as well as easy to digest. So, cooked food. Cooked food is easy to digest and make it more tasty. Make it test. For raw vegetables, what we call it salads. Right? Which is very important part of our diet. For example, what are the things we can include in our salad that is carrot, radish, onion, beetroot, cucumber, spinach, coriander, etc. A number of vegetables are there that can be eaten for raw. So, I hope you have understood the importance and the meaning of food in our life. So lesson number 6 we have started, the name of the lesson is Food where does it come from? Out of that we have learned about the food. Now we will go for the second word of the lesson that is Where does it come from? Right? The second part of the lesson is that our food we obtain from two main sources. Number one source is 
plants. What is number one? Plants. And number two source is animals. So first we will go for the plants. Right? People, those who are non vegetarian, they eat plants as well as animals. They are called omnivores. Right? Those who are non vegetarian, they eat eggs, they drink milk, meat. From animals we get honey. Honey is also animal product. Honey is also animal product. Some people they eat chicken, then fish. So these all are non veg food items which obtain from the animals. Okay, now plants, the edible parts of the plants. Plants have many edible parts. So first of all, understand by what is the meaning of edible parts. Edible parts means that can be eaten. Edible parts means that can be eaten. So we eat the roots of various plants. We eat stems, we eat leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. The number of plant parts are eaten by human beings. Right? So, do you know that wheat, carrot, radish, these all are, in addition to that, we can also write sweet potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato is also root. So, wheat, carrot, radish, sweet potato, these all are the roots of the plant. We eat roots of the plant. For example, second one is stem. We eat stem of onion, potato, in addition to that, you can write sugar cane. When we eat sugar again, we are actually eating the stem of sugar. Right? That juicy part, we must remember that we have to suck it and drink the juice of that stem. So that is stem. In a, one more example is turmeric. Turmeric is also the stem part of the vegetable which is underground. Right? Potato is also underground stem. Third part that is we that we eat is leaves. What is the third part? Leaves. Spinach, cabbage, then number of lettuce is there, fenugreek is there. Number of examples we can write. We are taking just few examples here. Then flowers. We eat flowers of cauliflower and drumstick flowers. Right? Drumstick, what we can call that? Shevlet Right? So that long stick like structure is there that is called drumstick. Drumstick is a very important plant because its stem is a, its leaves are useful for making vegetables, flowers are useful for making vegetables and fruit that is drumstick. Seeds are also very important. Right? The next one is fruit. We eat different fruits. For example, banana, mango, tomato. Tomato is actually fruit part of the plant. We can write hundreds of examples, but we have to just understand the part that we are eating, that is edible parts of plants. Then last one is seeds. We eat seeds of many plants, for example, mustard and groundnuts. Mustard and groundnuts, from this we are also obtaining oils. Isn't it? Shrinkdhan is a tail, and in oil is a tail, mustard oil. Right? So, this mustard is very famous in Punjab. Right? Sarsokata. Now, some plants have more than one edible parts. More than one edible parts means we can eat their stem, leaves or fruit and leaves or root or stem. Number of things are there that more than one items we can eat. First example, we can go for the mustard. Mustard seeds and leaves are edible. Right? Mustard is a plant which seeds and leaves are edible. Then lotus, seeds and stem. The seeds of the lotus is called makhna. Right? It is called makhna. So, mustard, lotus, stem and seeds are useful. Then radish, root and leaves are edible. Right? Drumstick, fruit and flowers are edible. Gram, seeds and leaves. So, these are the some examples of plants which are having more than one edible part. This part is very important. Many times such questions are coming in the exam that give the examples of plants which have more than one edible part. Right? Then you can write these as answers. Then the third part of this lesson is that ingredients. Right? So what is meant by ingredients? Right? Ingredients means are materials needed to make dish. For example, if you want to make tea, right? 
T is a B related, right? To make the T, what the different things are needed, just we will count. Number one is, first is tea powder. Number two is milk. Number three is water. Number four, sugar. Number five, we can add spices also there, right? Other we can say that. Or ginger, right? So these things are added. Tea powder, milk, water and sugar are added to make tea. So these things are called ingredients. These things are called ingredients. Ingredients means materials needed to make a particular dish. For example, we eat chapati. Right? You know that what are the ingredients of chapati? Chapati, see chapati. For chapati we need wheat flour. This is called peat bulti. Right? Wheat flour. Then water is added while making dough. Then salt is added for test. Oil and ghee. Right? So these are the ingredients. These are the ingredients to make chapati. The next one potato vegetable. Potatoes of course potatoes are needed. Then oil mustard, spices, water, salt, we can add as per our requirement, right? So same dish can be made by using different ingredients, depends on particular individual. Now, some food habits, right? The last part of this lesson is some food habits. As you know that, uh, different states, they have different food items. Different states, they have different food items. Isn't it? As per state, right? As per state, we can write that in Maharashtra, as you know, that we eat chapati, varan bhaar, bhaji, puri, rice, pickle, raita, lonsa, right? Salad, that is vegetables. So these things are there. Suppose any guest comes to our home, then we are welcoming that guest by giving them tea, poha, chivuda, upma, or shira, that is sweet. So these are our, what we can welcome dishes to the guest. But in Punjab, if you go, they will, they will serve you lassi, paratha, right? And their staple food is pulses and chapati. That chapati is made up of maize, makke ki roti or sarso ka saad, right? So these are the food items of Punjab. If you go towards the south like Tamil Nadu, you will be welcomed by idli, dosa, samba or banana chips. So different states they have different food culture, right? It depends on their geographical condition and what different kinds of crop is grown in that particular area, right? Then we will go for the last part of this lesson that is food habits regarding the animals. Food habits regarding the animals. As you know that there are various kinds of animals, some are herbivorous, some are carnivorous, some are omnivorous. So, there are three basic habits of eating food in animals. Number one, number one is herbivore. As you know that in science, every word has hidden meaning. Herb means green plant. Herb means green plant. And orus. Orus means eater. Eaters. So, green plant eaters are called herbivores. For example, cow, deer, rabbit. Sheep, goat, zebra, hundreds of examples you can write. Second one is carnivores. Carn, C A R N. Carn means flesh and vorus means eater. So, flesh eater, animals which eat flesh, they are called carnivores. Example, tiger, lion, fox, hyena, number of animals are there. And last, that is omnivores. Only means both. They are the animals which can eat plant as well as flesh of other animals. So they are called omnivorous. The example of omnivorous number one is bear, a rat, cockroach, crow and squirrels. So these are the examples of omnivores. Right. So dear students, I hope you have fully understand this lesson. Right? So, today we have learned our lesson number 1 of standard 6, that is food where does it comes from and we have learned that, that what is the meaning of food, like you can call the video and understand whatever the written on the board, try to read the lesson, that is substances that we eat, consume, food, uh, consume, items to nourish our body is called food, need of food also we have learned that food is essential for the proper growth of our body, food is generating energy to do work, it 
is repairing damage of our body then it is increasing resistance power which is also known as immunity immunity this is very important to remain healthy right then cooked food is best easy to digest and make it tasty cooking then raw vegetables are called salads whatever the examples carrot radish onion beetroot cucumber spinach coriander etc plants and animals are the sources of food plants and animals they are the sources of food sources of food plants roots stem leaves flower fruit etc we are eating animals eggs milk meat honey chicken fish these are our animal product and one thing that is important part of our food that is water we are obtaining water from the nature and also very essential part of our food that is salt obtained from nature that is ocean right obtained from nature so water and salt are obtained from nature these are obtained from the nature right so i hope you have understood this lesson if you read the lesson carefully at home this video will be i hope this video will be useful for you you revise it read your lesson try to see the video and understand the lesson and if you have any doubt you can call right i will i am ready to give your answer right whatever your doubts are there these all doubts will be clear right my number is I am giving here. If you have any doubt, you can call me. Thank you.